Hi, this is the second part of uh, how I put an automatic transmission cooler for Mazda 5. This is uh, <coughs> Mazda 5 2009 automatic transmission. <coughs> okay, so there is a part one where I uh, show the parts and explain my considerations. So now this is complete. I didn't uh, try it yet to see if everything, if nothing leaks, but uh, everything is complete. So I want to show you uh, while uh, the things are <coughs> disassembled. Okay, so here this is the the cooler with the hoses attached. Um, it will be. It, it will be uh, like this, flush with the AC condenser, uh, with a strip in this area, just a strip to, to hold it uh, flush, but now it's like this. <coughs> Here are uh, the hoses inside, and those are uh, kind of tubes to protect it from cutting. Uh, from uh, sharp ed edges and just for fun so it looks interesting okay now what is inside this is how it looks inside they are there the two white hoses <coughs> now I used stacked plate cooler and I used the thermostat This is the heat exchanger. This is the out. This is coming, uh, coming kind of hot from the transmission, and here it comes out, kind of a little cool. But from here, instead of going back to transmission, it goes to the cooler, and when it gets back from the cooler, it is now really cold, and then it goes back to transmission so the pipe that comes from here this was the pipe cut uh, instead of that pipe I put a, pi a hose that goes to the cooler and then comes back from the cooler in addition to that okay in addition to that there is a thermostat uh, this is the thermostat um, this one so this is the hot hot uh, going there and coming back cold <coughs> okay so i thought where to mount i put it here um, now the hoses hold it some Kind of some of the weight and they, they hold it however it is being hanged first of all on on the bottom here below you see it it sits on a, a plastic shelf like this which continues with this line that's the plastic part of uh, fan Um, okay, I, I'm looking from the <coughs> from the bottom of the car up and to the front. Um, so it sits, you see, it sits on a shelf like this, plastic. So the weight is here. Also, uh, I put a, this is a metal uh, tie like a zip a zip tie but metal it goes around here and on the top there is a kind of small metal hook okay now here 
you see the this the hose this hose that's the uh, cooler uh, cooling engine cooling that goes to the radiator so i put another metal tie this is it this is another metal tie around this plastic and there is a hook small hook so they uh, metal uh, hook that holds it let me try show it okay so here is the metal tie there is a hook there is the hook you see so there is another metal tie on the radiator um, I, I think it's uh, incoming or outgoing I don't remember but uh, and there is a metal hook now why metal because it's hot and if I put a plastic strip kind of who knows when it will uh, let it go so all those things are metal um, okay no. so that that's that's the thermostat and how it is uh, attached uh, okay I, I have another idea to put now after I assembled everything to put around here uh, plastic just to hold it to not run but it sits very well it's held very well by by the hoses but I'll put another pla another uh, zip tie plastic one around so it doesn't come out okay another thing uh, here the um, I used like those clamps it's better clamps and this the green one it is um, I can put a description um, so when you put this uh, barb MPT something uh, barb uh, fitting so you screw it but you need to put some sealant um, okay this is this is how it looks like okay <clears throat> now I'll, I'll put back um, the air box and I will try to I'll start up the engine I'll see if nothing leaks okay so, so this is my uh, how I did the uh, transmission cooler good luck